to measure the pH and conductivity of the surface of a work of art, acrylic painting, um, we use the agaros plugs to absorb ionic material and measure the pH of the environment. So to do this, I like to use a rectangular plug using a rectangular profile metal tube. Cut a nice section of the agarose plug. And then using a razor blade like a microtome, slice off uniformly thin pieces. Because we added germaben to the, to the agarose when we cooked it, we need to put these in deionized or distilled water to wash the germaben out. We let them soak for 10, 20 minutes. Once they're finished soaking, we remove the plug, put it on a tissue to remove the excess water. and place that plug on the surface of the painting. I'm going to make contact. We want to see that there's a little bit of moisture under there to allow the ionic material to flow up into the plug. We wait about five minutes before taking the reading. So after about five minutes, we can pick up our agarose plug. It's picked up the conductivity and pH readings from the surface of the painting. We want to keep track of what side was down on the art surface and what side is up. We slip the downside into the conductivity meter. And then we push down to make electrical contact between the electrodes. We just push down into here. To get a reading. There we go. So wait for the happy face. So we have a reading of 300 micro siemens or 0.3 millisiemens. We then remove the agarose plug from the conductivity meter and place it into the pH meter, again, keeping track of which side is up and which is down. You need to add a little bit of additional water to make better contact between the reference electrode and the plug and the measuring electrode and the plug. And again, we wait for the reading to stabilize. So we got a reading of 6.90 for the surface pH. We have our readings now, and we can use those readings to uh, formulate our cleaning strategy for this paint surface.